good morning how is everyone doing it's actually good afternoon it's 12 in new jersey we thank god for this day uh, for the money family that we are all doing well i want to thank everyone that has been uh, supporting us so when you come in please share this video and uh, remember to give us stars and the stars convert into cash facebook converts that into cash and gives us cash that in turn we give to the children in Kenya, often children in Kenya, we buy them sanitary towels. So today I want to talk about appreciation. And I won't uh, talk about it before I say that I want to be so grateful for all of you that uh, have been very supportive of our families since we got COVID. It's been since the 8th and we... Um, we, the Mbane family, are grateful. A lot of you sent us money. A lot of you sent us food. A lot of you called from Kenya and everywhere around the world. We are truly grateful that you have been there for us. And the reason why I want to talk about appreciation today, uh, the, the first thing is people have to really learn to ask for help. I did come to Facebook and I said, you know, I need help. I don't feel good. My family is not doing well. And all of you came and um, supported me. You gave me the remedies. Hey, Nelson, I see you. Same when I see you. And the greatest um, thing that you can ever do to humanity is to serve people. So I have to say that a lot of you took time to serve me and my family. I have money. I have the food. I have the phone calls. I have the rem remedies. I learned so much. I learned so much because I came out and I asked for help and I got the help. And I want to thank everybody that took time to help me. When people have problems, when you give back to the community, giving back to the community is when somebody is down and they ask for help, you come out and help them. As Kenyans or as Africans, let's say, I don't know about so much about Americans because I'm around Kenyans a lot. We shy away from asking for help, especially somebody in the community where people think that they are doing well. We actually assume like somebody who is traveling, somebody who has a nice car, somebody who has a nice house. <clears throat> All those achievements are good. But even people who are independent, even people who are uh, financially stable, have times when they are down, like we were down. Even if we had money, we were not able to leave the house. So courtesy of our friends, and um, Kenyan life, uh, they've been making food for us. People have been paying them and they deliver food to us. So we want to be grateful. We appreciate the people that have took their time to help us. So sometimes it's not even so much about giving people money. It could be that remedy you sent me that I mixed and, and, and gave my children. People who um, always give us, I sh are shy, I even afraid to tell people, you know what, I need help. So let us learn to ask for help and let us learn to serve others. The other thing is we don't appreciate people. When people do things for us, uh, and I want to speak about men today because a lot of men don't feel appreciated, married men. I'm not talking about single men. I'm talking about married men. We lose our marriages. Our families break because as women, we don't find it in our hearts to appreciate our men literally like let your husband know that you know i appreciate what you're doing for the family i appreciate that you you know you are able to pay the bills i have a couple friends that tell me that oh they are not going to tell their husband thank you for paying bills because that's his job they are not going to tell thank you. they're not going to tell their husband thank you for doing dishes because that's his job it's not so much that he that's not his job but when you're in a marriage, it is good to appreciate your spouse so they know that you appreciate what they are doing them, doing for you. And we cannot live in the, in the past. We have to live in the present. If you're living in the present, you just have to tell someone that, you know what, thank you for taking the kids to the game. Thank you so much for picking the food from, from the shop. You just need to let your spouse know that, you know what, thank you for what you have done for me. It, it goes a long way. We lose uh, good families because people are un ungrateful. The other thing is we need to appreciate the moment. When you're living the moment right now, be grateful for this moment. Because for us, since January the 8th, 
our life changed. We all got COVID. We were sick. Right now we are dealing with the aftermath of COVID. Appreciate the present where you are right now. The past is gone. Appreciate where you are right now because you don't know where you're going to where you're going to go. You could turn around, you get a car accident and you never walk again. So let us learn to appreciate the, pre the present. If you have a job, Treat your job with gratitude. Don't just go to work and just hate your job. You know, some of us have places of work where the supervisor doesn't even appreciate us. A lot of companies have events where they appreciate people, where they give people uh, recognition, and they tell them, thank you for doing a wonderful job. How do we do that at place of work where we are, and we are not able to do that to our immediate families? We are not able to just tell a, a brother or a sister that has been there for us to say, thank you for bringing me this far. I am grateful. But most companies call you and they tell you we get monthly awards, we get yearly awards, we get uh, like some kind of uh, payment. What is important to you, your place of work or your family? Your family is more important. So you should be able to sit with your husband one day and just say, you know, I'm so grateful, honey, that you are able to go to work and, and help us uh, have this home. If, you're, if it's a husband, let your wife know that, honey, I'm so grateful that you're able to work a second job of, you know, cooking because cooking is a second job or keeping the home clean. We need to get into the, the culture of recognizing people and, and letting them know that we really appreciate what you have done for us. And then the other thing you need to do is set a time. Don't just uh, just uh, think about it and it slips your mind. No, write it down that I'm going to call Nelson on Friday and be grateful for what Nelson has done for me. Or next week on Friday, get a calendar. Take your calendar or get a book and, and fill in the calendar. Say, you know, on such and such a day, I'm going to call Penny. Penny, how are you? This is Nelson. I was just calling to be grateful for what you have done for me. I want to thank you for all your assistance that you have given me. Just be grateful. I, I call Call that one person. Yesterday, I was following a post on social media that somebody was asking, uh, what is your experience with hosting people? Everybody around the world, I think I should say 60% of people who hosted people in Nairobi, in Kenya, in, in Ukraine, in India, all the people that we host in our homes are grateful. It is very rare to have people who come and stay with you and they are grateful because when they come into your space, they really discover that you're not the person you are. But remember, they're in your space. A lot of people move out of their homes without telling the, the host, thank you, because they got in conflict. And when they left, they just left. They never said thank you for hosting me. They left there in protest. And we go by life without being grateful. Some of us who are in America, we went above and beyond for us who moved here a long time. Or our brothers who, like me, my brothers came before me. You make sure that you do everything you can to bring your siblings here. You make sure you find a way to bring your cousins here. You make sure because you are trying to see that, you know, how can I bring them here? Because there is opportunities here. When these people get here, they are ungrateful. You left a wife back home. You work so hard. You bring her here. By the time she gets here, she doesn't like you anymore. She's ungrateful. And she says, you know, this is not what I expected. You should have told me this. Like when I came, I didn't know America wasn't rich. When my brother picked me, he told me, no, we are not rich. We work hard. I work two jobs. This is how it is. But when I was in Kenya, I thought they just had money. So when I came, it was hard for me. But, you know, after some time, I realized what my brother was telling me. It is so hard. Be grateful. Thank people who have helped you along the way. Write it down. Take your pen. You know, like for me, I like the fountain pen. And I like my, my calendar. Have that vision board. Write it down. Be grateful, even for your children. My daughter is big on gratefulness. She's always reminding me if she does something and I didn't recognize her or I didn't say thank you or I didn't show like I really appreciate how she went above and beyond. Even working out, when my daughter works out, she wants me to recognize that. She'll text me and say, mom, here, she'll send me the video. What does she, why is she sending me the video? She wants me to tell her, mommy, you're doing such an amazing job. I'm so proud of you that you know what? You're able to go to the gym and work out. When she buys her brothers and uh, uh, food, I will say, you know what, that is so good. This morning, my son took the dogs for registration. When he comes back, I'm going to look at my son in his face and say, thank you, honey. When it comes to my husband, I'm always grateful. You know, I serve him tea like as much as I can. I just 
um, put that tea and, and put it on a saucer and bring that bread and make the eggs and just serve him. He's my husband. He's the father to my children. And he does the same. My husband is very grateful that I'm the mother to his children. He's very grateful that I'm able to set time and take care of the family. And we have been enjoying such a beautiful family. And in return, we have attracted so many good friends. We have so many good friends. You cannot even believe how much support we have received from our friends and our family from all around the world. And I wanted to thank you. I want to thank you for being our friends. But what we have done, especially my husband and I, we have tried to be intentional. That's why we go to church. In church, the message that is preached in church is appreciation. Be grateful that God woke you up this morning. Be grateful that people are texting you remedies. Be grateful that people are checking on you. Let us not forget to appreciate the people that take their time to do something for us. And on behalf of my family, I want to thank everyone that has been inboxing me, that has been calling me, and I want to be grateful for going on above and beyond for my family. And we truly feel cared for. Even my children have learned a lesson what it means to serve. My children have learned a lesson what it means to give people money. Literally, somebody is coming to cash up and is sending you $100. Somebody is sending you $200. You are a family of six. You need to go buy a nice meal. Somebody is selling you $150. They are saying, Penny, here, take your family and eat. You don't have to be in the kitchen. Because my daughter was negative. I just didn't want to be in that kitchen. I didn't even have the strength. But people came out and they have been in support up to today. And I want to appreciate all of you. Let us not go by not appreciating your spouse, not appreciating your, your, your children, not appreciating your co-workers. Let us learn to be grateful. Personally, it is something that I have to do. I'm very intentional. I'm always looking back where I've come from and where I'm going. It is a challenge for all of us. It's not just you. It is a challenge for me. There are people I'm sure somewhere who are not happy that I've not reached out to them to be grateful for what they have done for me. Yes, that happens. But let us be intentional. Write it down and be appreciative. Thank people for taking time to serve you. May God, Lord, bless you. Please like our page, share. If you've not uh, liked our page, please do that. And when you get a chance, when you're watching this video, please give us stars and remember to be grateful. Remember to thank the people that have held your hand along the way. It means a whole lot. Don't wait for your mom to die after you have teenager children is when you're going to remember that, oh, is this what I put my mom through? Don't wait for your father to die. Don't wait for people that you love to die. And then we start appreciating them. You start celebrating them. Be grateful for the people that have helped you along the way. Start with your parents. Come to your siblings. Come to your friends. Be grateful. Cheers, guys.